Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is another Red Smashbook process video layout. I never know what to call what I'm doing. Uh, I think that's right. Um, I have a lot of, I recently moved house. Um, I don't think I've told you that yet. I recently moved house. Um, I moved closer to the beach, which is great. But um, in the move, I had to organize all of my scrapbooking stuff and move it from containers to drawers to back to containers to different shape containers to fit in a cupboard um, so I had to go through my scrapbooking stuff a lot and I got rid of some stuff um, I also organized it better so I can find you know embellishments stickers um, different colors of stuff um, where all my washi tape um, paper cutters um, glitter paints stamp stuffs all together like you know just kind of organized it a bit and I found that I had lots and lots of scraps these are my medium scraps I've got another one that's little and I've got another one that's big which is still pretty big sheets um and I've seen a lot of scrap videos on YouTube like Tori Bissell um sorry if I said your name wrong um but she does some really great layouts obviously this one isn't so great I should have stopped when um way before, um, now it's just way too busy, but I was happy to document this memory because it's me and my best friend from high school, if you didn't see the title, um, her name is Val because she was born on the 12th of February, I better get that right, um, and Valentine's Day is on the 14th, so I think that's where her parents got her name, Valentine, Valentine's Day, get it? Um, we were friends right from kindergarten. She was crying and my mum said, oh, why don't you go up to her? Because when I was little, I was quite confident and outgoing and I just wanted to make friends and meet people and play. Um, obviously, that changed when I got older. <laughs> but I did not stay like that at all, unfortunately. Um, but then we were in the classroom and I knew that I liked the teacher. Like I knew that she was really nice because my sister went to school before me. She's older than me, obviously. And so um, I was listening <laughs> because I was just a energetic little kid. Um, and I just put up my hand when she asked a question and I didn't know what it was. And Val was crying in the classroom and the teacher had asked, oh, why doesn't someone take Val out to go get a drink or just to calm down, you know, because um, first day of school. So a bit full on, even when you're five, four. I don't know how old you we were actually. Kindergarten starting age. Anyway, so she was crying and I took her to the bubblers, which were just right outside our classroom. And the first thing I said to her was, Hi, what's your name? And she said, Val. And she asked me what my name was. I said, Beck. And then we hugged and I said, Girl, Don't cry. We can be best friends. And we literally were, blah, blah, blah. we literally were from that day on. We were best friends. We were always called Beck and Val, Val and Beck. We were always walking around together holding hands, um, singing songs, you know, best friend songs. We had best friend diaries that we um, drew in and you would dream, you could draw your dream house with your best friend and you had to write a certain amount of questions and the other person had to answer it and just all that kind of stuff. And we had lots and lots of sleepovers and we were just really, really close. And of course we had our fights and you know we've hurt each other but we're still friends and we forgave each other and that's why we're still friends because we didn't hold on to it anyway I will forever love this girl um I we've been friends now for 16 years 17 years this year 17 years and I'm only 20 so that's three years actually I'm 21 this year so that's four years that I didn't know her. So basically she's been in my life for a very long time and I love her very dearly. Um, I don't see her very much if you have seen my other videos. Um, I talk about my friends from school. She's one of them. I don't see her very often mainly because I'm a chef um, but also because she lives far away and our schedules don't meet up and it's a little bit sad. But we are planning to get tattoos together. Um, it is going to be of a yin-yang, I know, cliche, we're both, one of us white, one of us is black, um, but I, we have always loved the yin-yang, what it represents, um, especially what it represents to us anyway, um, and 
Val's already got two tattoos, one really big one on her side that's a tiger, one on her wrist that is an eye, Egyptian eye, I don't actually know the real name, um, and I um, want to experience getting a tattoo, I don't want to miss out on that life experience, so I want to get, you know, something small and simple just for my first tattoo and then I'll see if I want to get more because it's quite, um, it's permanent, so you have to make sure that you want it, and even if I, um, you know, I don't like yin yangs in the future or me and Val aren't friends in the future or if something happens, I know that it's only a small tattoo. I know that it represents my childhood as well as my best friend because she was <laughs> mainly my childhood. Um, so it's always going to have happy memories for me. So I'm pretty sure I want to get that tattoo. And don't worry, I will be scrapbooking about it when I get that tattoo. So anyway, back to the layout. I basically just put heaps of paper down scraps down and then I laid my photo up because I was trying to make it stand out so I put that um it's not cellophane it's um tissue paper the white tissue paper behind the photo but then it was still coming through too much so then I just got um that white zigzag it's like a cardboard like really thick kind of paper that I put behind and that kind of makes the photo stand out a bit even though it kind of doesn't because I just gave up on you know I wasn't feeling the background and then I just I wasn't feeling the layout, but I'm glad I documented this memory with Val. This is off in high school where we used to sit outside the back of the art rooms and the computer rooms, I think it is. Um, the classrooms changed a bit, but that's what they were at the time. And we would just sit out here together. Sometimes we'd have more of our friends. Sometimes it'd just be her and me. And everything would happen out there. You know, one time there was, like, birds fighting. Another time Val was singing and I was trying to record it because... She actually does have a pretty good voice. Sometimes we would dance, because me and her like to dance more younger. I don't know, gay. Um, and we just talked. We talked about high school stuff. We went to an all-girls school. So we were, you know, a little bit obsessed about boys. You know, we, we didn't have any boyfriends or any friends that were boys. So we were all, you know, our girls that did have friends, you know, from um, their primary schools or whatever, we would be like, oh, yeah, what's it like? And all this. Anyway, I'm... Getting into stuff that I don't really want the world to know. But yeah, me and her talked about boys a lot. We gossiped. We just ate our lunch out there. And we just had good girl bonding time. And I wish I could have it back. But no, I can't go back in time. I can only go forward. And I'm still happy that I have her as my best friend. So anyway, I got those chipboard pieces that were from school. Um, I used the cap in my boyfriend's lay on the left. Which I thought was pretty cool because, you know... It was blue, it was a cap, and it was, like, boyish. Um, so I just got a pencil, I got an alarm clock, because I was always late to school. Like, Val, like, I caught the bus sometimes, but it was never on the bus that Val caught, even though it went past her house. She was always on the earlier bus. And then there was four of us, so me and Val, Kirstie and Emily, and Kirstie, Emily, and Val would always be in the library before school talking or, like, in the comment rooms or whatever. And then I would get there, and I would just not know what they were talking about for the rest of the day, because I... I was late. I was always late. My mother was late. I was late. I did not like mornings. That's one good thing about being a chef is that you have, you can sleep in. You can. Because you don't start work till 1.30, 2. Sometimes it's 12 or 10, but that's rarely. Um, and then you work till about 9.30 or 10.30 or 12 if you have midnight shift, which I don't mind. You know, you just cleaned a couple of orders. Anyway, getting off topic. Um... Yeah, I just love her. So, I got these donut posted note things, and I love donuts, and I love these post notes, and I really wanted to use one, and I know it does, like, no relation to this layout, but, and you can see the writing through the donut, but, you know, I just thought, I'm just going to stick it there. Why not? Um, I did remember to put the tag in this time, so I'm just going to write about how me and Val used to spend time behind these buildings at our school that I don't think like people knew about it but no one had lunch there so it was mainly just me and Val mostly by ourselves out there which we liked because we were a little bit weird you know we liked different stuff we liked gangster music you know <sighs> ice cube whatever all that kind of stuff um we weren't different we were just really comfortable together and we just loved each other so much, and we could just express ourselves at the back of our school. So I just documented that there. I mean, I could have wrote so much more, but, you know, I only had the tag space. There's my awful hair. 
And then I just decided to outline the photo because, you know, trying to make it stand out even though I've already failed this layout. But thanks for watching, guys. If you made it to the end, congratulations because that was a bad layout. Very bad. I promise I've got more Project Life coming, which is, well, the one about my buns, hot cross buns, not those buns, um, isn't that great. But the next two I really, really like. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye, guys.